In this episode of Wing Hunters, I will follow Oliver and Frederick when they are hunting crow in southern Sweden. We are absolutely no expert on this, so when we are sharing our thoughts about equipment and techniques, it's only from the point of view what have worked for us. We are learning every new day out hunting crow. And now I will tell you a little bit about the equipment we use when building blinds. And the first thing we use is this purpose-built pole. And the reason why we don't just take a stick from the woods is that this has two attachment points to the ground, which means that it gives stability to blind. It's also telescopic, which means that we can extend it, uh, both during the building of the blind, but also during the hunt, when we see in which height the birds are coming in. And it also has a nice attachment point to the camonet. And speaking about camo netting, I will also show you which camo nets we are using. We are using a little bit of special camo net. It's built in two layers, uh, which means that it's very easy for us as a hunter to look from the inside and out. But for the birds to see from the outside and in, it's very hard, which makes it perfect for us. And we're using a little bit of different color on our camo netting, depending on the terrain. So we have this a little bit uh, yellow, and we have another bit with a more brown and green in it. And last but not least, we have this little board that we can attach to one of the poles. And it's very good because often when we hunt birds, we are standing. And then it's good to have the ammunition or game calls and so uh, in the same height, so it's easy to reach. As you will see further on, the blind Oliver's building now isn't the same as uh, Oliver and Fredericks uh, is hunting from. This is because when we filmed this on occasion for the hunt, I messed up some uh, settings in the camera in the, and in the drone that we will film the blind from later on. So Oliver and me had to go out a couple of days later to do some retakes. Anyhow, I hope you will get the idea of how we build our blinds. The location for the hunt is uh, approximately 500 meters outside a small community. And we know that the crows and jackdaws uh, like to fly along the tree lines in this area. There is also a big pile of manure in the edge of the field that draws the interest of the birds. With this knowledge in mind, we place our blind under an oak in the corner of a small grove. And we also put our decoys approximately 20 meters out on the field, so they can be easily spotted by the birds, whatever direction they come from. And when we still had the drone up, we took the opportunity to film the difference between wearing and not wearing camouflage on the hands and face. We use approximately 12 to 15 decoys. We have a mix of black and grey crows and some magpies. And to really uh, draw the attention to the decoys we have a, a piece of uh, the leftovers of a slaughtered wild boar. And uh, this really helps to put interest to the decoys and not to where we have the blind.
Oh, it's round here. Yeah. Yeah. In English. Far away? No, uh, 50 meters. 50? <coughs> okay, he's right above us now. <coughs> left, left, left. <laughs> Make the sound again. Even if Frederick is only messing around with us, it's really hard to call Crow with your voice only. That's why we use game calls. Today it's Oliver who's mainly using the call, and it's only his second time ever. And it takes a lot of practice to become good, and it takes a lifetime to master it. However, with just a little practice, you can actually become a really decent crow caller. That was no. Uh, 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 12, 12. Uh, take him, take him. No, no, no. Too far, too far. Magpie. There, right. Walk, drop, walk. No. I think you missed. It's not good to have the dead birds laying around with the bellies up, so Frederick decided to go out and collect all the shooting birds. He arranged the birds uh, so they act as uh, decoys, and in this way we get uh, even more decoys than we began with. We have a retriever dog in the car, but uh, the dog is very good on uh, finding birds, but not so good on sitting still in, to, in the blind. So we have decided to just bring her out if it's necessary. Now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, no, it's huh? <laughs> <laughs>
vänta utan att det lugnar ner sig lite. Ja. Mine. Huh? I got mine. Okay, perfect. I have mine there. Double. <laughs> really nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Now. There is one, one uh, nine o'clock. That good shooting there. Do that now. Perfect shoot. Good shoot. Shoot. Good. Nice. Further on, I will tell you a little bit more about the equipment we use. We use a semi-automatic shotgun and the main reason we do that instead of a over and under barrel or side by side is that you can always have the barrel pointing in an upright position um, which means that when you're reloading you don't have to bring the uh, barrel inside the blind. Also you can load it with more than uh, two shots. Uh, in Sweden we can load it with three shots but uh, I know that it's variating depending on the country you're living in. We're using it in a cam pattern, which means that the, the sun reflection, the, the birds can see the sun reflection in the weapon. And also tell you about the ammunition we use. Um, we mainly use a number 6, 32 grams for most hunts, that is total enough. But sometimes we can see that the birds is coming higher or the shooting distance becomes further. So then we also bring a 36 gram number 5. Uh, which gives a little bit more punch in the longer distances. And also, we have, of course, backup ammunition. You can never bring too much ammunition to the hunt. And when it comes to camouflage, I think it's very important to camouflage your face, your hands, but also your body. I use a leaf camo because that breaks up the silhouette. And what many people forget is the hearing protection. Many hearing protections have a shiny surface, but we use a dull surface instead, so the birds can see the glance from the sun. I really hope you liked this episode of Wing Hunters. Wing Hunters will be a playlist here on my YouTube channel where I put all films about hunting ducks, geese, pheasants, pigeons, and we will also hunt more crows. Uh, and we will go deeper into how we use the game calls and decoys. If you enjoy this film, it means a lot to me if you like, comment and of course do not forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming movies here on my channel.